Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look through issue 483 of the White Dwarf magazine. That's the December 2022 issue. So this is the subscription copy, so the cover's slightly different, but you can see it's still the same, issue 483, and we've got the Leagues of Votan on the front there, really great cover. And then as we flip it over, you can see on the back all the contents and exactly what's going to be included in the magazine. A little bit different to how they used to do the subscription ones. They used to just be an open out full cover image, but now they started putting this on the back, which I think is really nice. You can get a good idea about what's going to be in the magazine just by looking at the back there. So awesome, nicely sectioned off into Age of Sigmar and Warhammer 40,000 as well now. And if you go into 40k, that's going to include the main game and also Kill Team. And for Sigmar, that includes Warcry as well. So let's open it up and we'll start working our way through. And first of all, on the inner page of the cover, you're going to see the subscription to White Dwarf, all the details there and the editorial. And we're going to get to see the Leagues of Votan going up against the Gene Stealer Colts in a battle report this month, which is really nice done and then also the Corvus Cabal get a specific article which I'm really happy about my favorite warband for Warcry so lots to look at this month and we start off with some images of models that people have painted and sent in and this one's really cool let's get it up close to the camera I've never seen this I've never seen a snow squig before so I think this is a brilliant idea for Christmas what a really cool theme so simple and yeah I've got to do it. I've got to give that a go. So let's dig out a squig and get painting. I think that'd be really fun. We've even got a skateboarding orc this month. So really nice to get some ideas and seeing how people paint things differently. Like here, I'd never think to do these kind of colour schemes. So yeah, it's really interesting in this section to see exactly what people are up to. In Worlds of Warhammer, there's an article that's helping you to decide which Age of Sigma army is right for you. And I went through it and to be fair, it's, you know, it's not really in-depth at all. You're going to be led after about one or two questions to the army. So it's very obvious where it's taking you each time. But still a good, fun article. Then we've got Warhammer Age of Sigmar, the Eternal War. And we're going to learn about Flashpoint Rontol. So you get articles each month learning about the different Flashpoints that tell you all about what's going on in these different regions. This month is the Gurish continent of Rondhol, and it tells us in the article this is assailed by the rampaging hordes of destruction. So there we go. Nice bit of reading there and good to learn a bit of the lore and background for the different regions. Then we got the Great Stomp Part 3. This is Flashpoint Rondhol now. A new campaign rules for the ongoing war in Gur. And if you've been following along with the White Dwarf magazines, then this Great Stomp has been going on for a little while. So it's just continuing with that theme. Then we get to see the Sveldir Lodge and a really, really nice paint scheme for the Fire Slayers. I think this is probably the best one I've seen. I love this winter snow theme they've gone with and the turquoise colour they've used is stunning. It really sets these models off really well. And there's also our first insert this month. Nothing too exciting and we'll come to that later on as we look at how they're used for a campaign play in 40k. But this is a really nice section. How they painted these endless spells just looks fantastic. Some really nice colour schemes. Yeah, and it totally transforms that faction for me, actually. But now we're on to the main article for me this month, which is Talons of the Great Gatherer. The Corvus Cabal being featured with some new rules for Warcry. This is awesome. We're going to get some new background, some new quests and rewards for the Corvus Cabal Warband. So a really nice article. I'm really happy about this. And if, if this is what they're going to be doing for some of the other warbands going forward, then I think we've got lots to look forward to. It's really great that they haven't forgotten about these original warbands because for me, they're just the best ones. I think they're brilliant. Now we're on to Underworlds with Glory Points, building a Nemesis deck, so there's a nice article there. And then on to Warhammer 40k, and a really nice spread here of the Leagues of Votan again. Really cool to see the armies laid out like this. And then we're going to look at some heroes and villains, some modelling and painting inspiration for 40k. And this is a really good article actually, great for reference. So I think they've been doing a really good job lately with these types of articles. Really nice to see the space walls there. That base is awesome. And look at these, really nicely done. I want to do something similar with that fire effect wings for my Krondis dragon later in the year. So really looking forward to getting that done before or around January probably by the time I get to painting it. But here we are, nice. More um, HQ leader models. 
some really nice paint jobs here and it breaks down all the paints used as well with a little introduction from the painter. So that's a really great section, really nice article to have a look for. Now we're on to our second pullout. This has got a little bit going on for Age of Sigma and 40k and we're going to begin the battle report that's going to feature the Leagues of Otan, the Amir conglomerate going up against the Gene Stealer cults, Cult of the Four-Armed Emperor. I really like what they've done with the battle report this month. They've had an idea of going for like a narrative battle and it's going to be a Votan convoy that's been ambushed by a band of gene stealer cultists in vehicles and they're going for a rolling road battlefield something I haven't played on yet but that would be really fun to do so you just move it along as you play so that that could be quite fun and I think this would be a good way to read through and get an idea of exactly how to do it on the battlefield if you want to re replicate something like that but it certainly looks good and great to see the models next to each other because that gives you a good idea about how big some of these vehicles are and they're certainly not going to be as big as you expect I think for the leagues of Votan you can see them up against some of the others from the gene sealer cults I think it's pretty small um, but it still looks cool nice and chunky but yeah not as big as we maybe thought it was going to be at first now we're on to some more painting then we're going to look at Armies of the Anomaly in Flashpoint Nephilim. So here now we're exploring a region in a particular area of Warhammer 40k now. So we've seen it for Age of Sigma. now we're in 40k. Now we've got Depths of the Tomb. So this is a new campaign setting the depths of a Necron tomb. And this is where you're going to use those pullouts that are included in the magazine. So it's got all the rules for putting these tiles together and showing how they actually work and how it ties into the game. So that's interesting. I haven't had a good read through that bit yet. So it'd be interesting to see how this is going to work. And um, yeah, it's nice that they have these different ways to play. Now on to Kill Team. And this is continuing with Kill Team Engage, where you've got all the t Kill Teams from five White Dwarf stuff playing through and sharing their tips and tricks from the games they've played. So this is a nice series as well. Really cool that they're keeping going with Warcry and Kill Team. So I'm loving that these are becoming commonplace now every month. Then we're on to Horus Heresy. Horus Heresy get quite a lot of attention in the magazine as well. And now you're going to find some new missions to play, which is really nice. And they're tying in with some of the new vehicles we're starting to see. And here's a really nice article now. Sons of the Emperor, a gallery of Primarchs by Golden Demon winner Damien Tomasina. This is brilliant. If you want, want to get some little introductory paragraphs for each of the Primarchs and then see in some great paintwork. This is a really nice article. I think you're going to love it. Then there's the wrong type of green, a little bit of reading for some grots, which I think is going to be fun. So I'm looking forward to that. Still would love to do a grot army. I think that'd be epic just to have a load of grots on the battlefield. Don't expect to do anything good with them, but man, it'd be fun, wouldn't it, to build. Then we've got some bingo, which I always forget about until I get the magazine then I remember again. And next time we're going to look at the Arcs of Omen. So can't wait for January's issue. But there we go. That's issue 483, the White Dwarf magazine for December 2022. And I hope you found this video helpful and I hope it's given you a really good idea about what to expect should you wish to add it to your collection. I think there's some really nice articles again this month. The Battle Report is exceptional. I think they do such a good job with those. I really enjoy reading through and hopefully if you get it, you'll enjoy it as well. But thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And don't forget to hit that notification bell too to join me here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. A big thanks to Tabletop Star for supporting the channel this month. Check out their website, the link's down below in the description. This is a great place to meet people in your area who like to play games as much as you do. So really awesome idea. And of course, a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters for being there right from the beginning, helping me to keep going with these daily videos. If you'd like to join the Patreon supporters, that link's in the description there down below too. I'd love to see you there.